So before starting about the derivation of Michelet maintain equation, let us discuss few facts about the enzyme catalysis. Enzyme catalyzed reactions follow general rules of chemical kinetics under normal conditions, but there are some distinctive add on features that means we are going to get something extra. One such thing is saturation that means there comes a stage in enzyme catalyzed reactions in which the concentration of the reactant is no longer effective on the rate of reaction. Now focus upon the graph which is given along with if we see this portion only the rate of reaction seems to be directly proportional to the concentration. Then from here to here there is no exact relation between rate and concentration. Then comes the third region which we call the saturation that in this region rate stabilizes or becomes constant. This is because all the enzyme is now being occupied by the substrate molecules. If we see here enzymes are available so that reactants can attach to it. At this stage most of the enzymes have been attached to the reactant molecules, but in the saturation phase all enzymes are occupied and if you can see clearly this molecule has now no enzyme available in order to undergo a faster chemical reaction. So this does not happen in case of normal chemical reactions. So for the Michelis maintain equation, three things are obvious that at lower concentration, the rate of the enzyme catalyzed reaction is directly proportional to the substrate concentration. That means the reaction is of first order, whereas when the concentration is neither too high nor too low then the order is not clear because the because of the higher concentration of enzyme as well as the enzyme substrate complex. Now if S increases further saturation is reached and the re reaction becomes zero order because no enzyme molecule is free to catalyze the reaction. Therefore, there is no effect of the concentration of the reactant or substrate on the rate of reaction. So, my uh, Michelis Menten equation is V naught is equal to V max into substrate concentration divided by Km which is Michelis constant and S plus S which is the substrate concentration. Therefore, Michelis maintain equation it relates the initial rate that is V naught with the concentration of the substrate that is S and certain characteristics of enzymes. These are represented by Km and however, there is a downside to this equation that this equation is limited to reactions when enzyme catalyzes a single substrate. That means if we have more than 
one reactant this equation might not give you good results so now in the next section let's move on to the derivation of the equation now for the derivation of michelle maintain equation we know that the enzyme catalyzed processes they occur in two stages in the first stage enzyme substrate complex is formed whereas in the second stage enzyme substrate complex breaks down into free enzyme as well as the product so kindly note that the product is obtained here in the second step now since product is obtained here we can write that initial velocity or initial rate is equal to k plus 2 into enzyme substrate complex this is our equation number 3 after first being the this one second is this one however the problem with this equation is that k plus 2 or es that means concentration of enzyme substrate complex can't be determined directly therefore we need to obtain these values indirectly by using reaction 1 and reaction 2 now for the formation of for the formation of enzyme substrate complex we can write that rate of formation of enzyme substrate complex ds by dt is equal to k plus 1 into total enzyme minus concentration of enzyme substrate and into the substrate concentration mark it as equation 4 this is very logical because the formation of enzyme substrate complex depends upon two steps first is this forward step and then this backward step in which the enzyme substrate complex has been broken since we are using for only formation then we are only using k plus 1 because the reaction is at the beginning only therefore k minus 1 is not considered for equation 4 so this is important thing which we need to note down now considering the breakdown of of enzyme substrate complex now in which ways it is breaking down it is breaking down here it is also being broken down in this step therefore we can write minus des by dt the negative sign indicates that concentration is decreasing k plus 2 focus here k plus 2 from here into es plus k minus 1 that is the backward reaction in the first step into es mark it as equation number 5 now enzymatic reactions 
they include saturation of the enzyme. That means enzyme substrate concentration does not change enough. So, that is why we can apply steady state approximation. What will happen? Since the concentration remains same, then this factor that is rate of formation of E s will be equal to rate of formation of rate of dissociation of E s. So, we can write that equation 4 should equate to equation 5. Then we can write that is k plus 1 into E t that is total enzyme concentration E s into s should be equal to k plus 2 into E s plus k minus 1 into E s. Now, we can rearrange this equation simply as E t minus E s into s this becomes since E s is common in both we can write k plus 2 plus k subscript minus 1 into E s this k plus 1 in multiplication goes into the denominator k plus 1. Then from here we can write this equation as E t minus E s into s divided by this E s comes here that is k plus 2 plus k minus 1 all are rate constant divided by k plus 1. So, what we are going to do is this whole figure this is now substituted by k m. K m is defined as Michelet's Minton constant. Therefore, above equation once again can be written as rearranged form E t minus E s into s divided by enzyme substrate concentration is equal to k m this is our equation number 7. Now, opening the brackets what we get E t into s divided by E s this becomes minus E s divided by E s into s both equates equal to k m this being cancelled out from both sides. So, what we are left with is E t into s divided by E s minus s is equal to k m or simply we can write E t into s divided by E s is equal to k m plus s. From this we can obtain the value of enzyme substrate complex as 
E t into S divided by K m plus S, where S is concentration of the substrate. This is our equation number 8. Now, using the equation that initial velocity or initial rate is equal to k plus 2 into E s. Now, substituting the value of E s from above equation, we obtain V naught is equal to k plus 2 into E t into S divided by k m plus S. From this equation, we can obtain k plus 2 as V naught into k m plus S divided by E t into S. So, you can see once we understand all the concept, it is basically mathematics. Now, for maximum velocity, all the enzyme should be saturated with the substrate. Therefore, we can write this equation again as V max is equal to k plus 2 into total enzyme concentration. Now, substituting the value of k 2 that is this value here, what we get is V max becomes equal to V naught k m plus s into E t divided by E t into S. Again here E t is common, so it is cancelled out. What we get is V naught k m plus S divided by S from here we can again rearrange and find out that V max into S, this becomes equal to V naught k m plus S from this equation. Once again, we can rearrange to find out the value of V naught, it becomes V max into S divided by k m plus S. This is what we term as Michelet's Menten equation. So, I have tried to explain this as slowly as possible. I hope you all like this.